Hello, I'm going to do a quick review of the Yamaha Soundbar ATS 1010. I'll take a quick look at the features, do an unboxing, and then see how it works. First, let's consider why somebody would buy a soundbar. If you have a flat screen TV with its regular speakers, you may want to get a lot more sound out of your TV system, either for music or movies or regular television. And this is a good option for people who can't or don't want to set up a complete home theater system that would include a receiver, multiple speakers, and uh, maybe one to two subwoofers even to get more bass sound. And if the sound of the soundbar meets your needs, it could also be a cheaper solution for you as well. Now in my case, I didn't want to set up speakers in the room where my TV is without causing too much disruption or kind of ugliness and clutter, lining speaker wire, putting up speakers, and then finding a place for a receiver, which I really don't have in that room. So if the sound is good, it could be a really good fit for the environment. I picked out this sound bar, um, actually doing a lot of looking online, and actually found this model at Costco for under $200. If you're familiar with Costco in the U.S., they have a great return policy, and if the sound isn't good or I'm not happy with it, they'll, they'll take it back and give me a refund. So looking at the features of the soundbar, this uh, claims to have surround sound, and of course it doesn't have doesn't place speakers around the room, so it creates an effect of surround sound. And I'll see how that works. It also has a built-in subwoofer, so that should provide uh, some good bass or low-end sound. We'll see how that works. And it has a simple setup. And for me, one of the big selling points was it has two optical inputs. I want to run an optical sound cable from my DISH satellite TV receiver as well as my Apple TV. So I want two sources uh, through an optical input. And this is the only model I actually found of a soundbar that has that feature. So um, could be a really nice system to play music through the satellite TV or the Apple TV. Now let's look inside and see what's in the box. Here are the contents of the box taken out there is the soundbar itself, of course. This is the Yamaha ATS-1010. And it has plastic uh, protective tape over it, which is intended to keep it nice uh, as it goes through packaging and shipping and all that good stuff. There's also a cardboard template here that is something you can use if you want to mount your soundbar. It'll help you identify the places for the drill holes and it's just a little piece of cardboard you would use and discard if you needed to mount. Included also are these spacers which you would use for mounting if you need to get more space uh, based on how it fits against the wall. It also includes your documentation which you'd expect. This optical cable is included which is nice if you want to run um, a satellite receiver or something else to the device. It includes a remote with batteries, which is always handy. And now let's set this thing up and see how it sounds. Now you can see the soundbar is set up. And one of the things I mentioned was that the idea here is that you get stereo sound at the very least with uh, a nice sound, a nice bass. And some of the manufacturers talk about having surround sound effect uh, with the soundbar. Now, as I had hoped, it does fit nicely into my environment. Above the fireplace is the TV, and here on the mantel, the soundbar sits. And what I've done, because there are a few cables, there's a power cable, and I mentioned two optical cables. I tuck those away here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some... Uh, just some wire molding that I got from Home Depot and I painted the color of the uh, wall and I just happen to have some figurines up here that were up here already and they kind of go nicely in front of it and provide a little more camouflage. But overall, it's not very destructive. It's not running wires through the walls or having wires uh, strung along the walls uh, kind of out in public. Even if those were covered up, it would uh, potentially look uh, a little bit shabby. So here's the setup and let's see how it sounds. So what I'm going to do is first listen to a song coming through Apple TV, which is a, basically a media bridge from a computer, and see how it sounds if there were no stereo, if I just listened to it over the TV.
turn up the TV a bit. This is a song by Charlie Farron. Um, have the rights to uh, play this song from Charlie himself, so uh, there's no copyright issue here. No, I know it's a little bit hard, you know, on the video to hear th what that sounds like, but it basically sounds like uh, music coming from a television. It's all right, my television's okay, but it doesn't have great sound. Let's um, hear out sounds with the soundbar. I'm going to mute the TV and I'm going to turn on the soundbar. Now the soundbar comes with this. The soundbar comes with this uh, kind of very small remote. It's got a few buttons. Uh, it has some input buttons for TV, a DVD player, or a satellite um, signal. And the way I set mine up is, you know, the optical cable for the Dish Network comes to TV, and for Apple TV, I put on Blu-ray or DVD. I'm probably going to put some little labels on here so that uh, if anybody picks this thing up, they'll, they'll know without uh, trying to figure it out. So I'm going to turn it on and set it to Apple TV and see how it sounds. And this little remote uh, has certainly a volume control, but it also has a subwoofer control so you can change the uh, amount of bass that comes through. Little bass speaker underneath the unit. So it sort of it sort of fires down a little bit. Um, and it actually works pretty well. It's not like having a big 12 inch standalone bass in your living room, but it works pretty well. Now this um, soundbar, and I think other soundbars are similar, have different settings where you can uh, change the setting to surround or to stereo. It has a setting where it tries to kind of control the voice versus other sounds like music and, and effects in television shows and movies. The bottom line with this soundbar is I'm overall very happy with it. When I look at the Yamaha ATS-1010, it provides a good sound. It actually provides a pretty good bass sound overall, and I've been using this uh, for a few weeks now, and it's like having a decent set of speakers. As for surround sound, I found the effect to be a fuller sound when I turned on surround sound mode. I think it does send some sounds out the sides and maybe tries to play tricks bouncing sound off the wall but I didn't experience true surround sound in the sense that isolated sounds like explosions would sound like they're coming from behind you, which you might experience in a room that has true surround sound with speakers behind you. But I didn't expect really to get a true surround sound either. That's not what I was looking for. My goal was to get better sound, especially for music, and it certainly provides that. And at $200, I'm very happy with this. I didn't have to string cable or create clutter. Um, and I found it to be a great value. So uh, overall, I recommend the Yamaha ATS-1010. I hope this video was helpful and have a great day.